Hey, what's up, guys? Mike Patrick. In this video, guys, I want to talk about how what we eat affects us, okay? Now, I'm going to keep this short and simple, and this is kind of going to underpin things that I talked about in the past, but we know it's about reiteration, okay, and repetition, and saying things in different ways so people can grasp, okay? So different people can grasp, all right? And so basically what I'm going to talk about right now is a simple way to explain what I'm talking about is let's say your DNA guys is your mind your DNA is your mind okay and whatever you put into your mind is going to affect it one way or another it can affect it in a positive manner or it can affect it in a negative manner okay your DNA guys is just like a set of instructions okay it's a set of intelligent instructions is it's, it's smarter than your consciousness like you know we sitting here and you think that for example you can't help how tall you're going to grow right that's just something that's already set in your genes and your dna you can't help necessarily necessarily we know we can't affect these types of things like how how uh how much weight you're going to going to gain you know how some people it's just in their genes they're not going to get but so fat some people it don't matter how you know how much they try to starve themselves they're going to have a little weight on them some of these things you know to a certain degree certain things are just genetic it's already a part of an intelligence that's beyond your conscious decisions now with that said our dna has a lot of potential okay it has different ways of expressing itself and so what i mean now is we can do things to dictate how our DNA is going to express itself. So, the reason I want to do this video, I was thinking about the whole Popeye's chicken sandwich thing, which which was very, it was a very silly situation. But it made me think about how, you know, you almost wonder, you know, what's in that chicken sandwich that make people act that way? Okay, so you ask yourself, what's in crack that makes people act that way? What's in we know in an energy drink there's caffeine and coffee there's caffeine it makes you act a certain way the point is whether we know what's in something and we know the effects it's going to have on our mind and our body and the way we uh we express ourselves either way we know things do communicate with us whatever we put into our whatever we consume okay whatever we put into our mind notice i said our mind because it can also mean entertainment, what you're listening to on the radio, okay, the type of music you're, you're consciously, actively listening to on your, your iPod, on your phone, okay, what you're watching on TV, on the internet. All of these things are forms of consumption. Uh, obviously, what we eat, what we put into our mouth, okay, and what we drink, it all is going to affect our mind one way or another, okay? So the thing is, guys, I talked about, go look at my archives, epigenetics, microRNA, everything has DNA, everything has information, everything is communicating, everything has a communication, everything is a feedback loop. You can't put something in your body and your body not respond to it. Some things are subtle and you're not going to notice it right away. Some things, right away you notice a difference. That's why when you smoke a cigarette, when you, uh, you know, uh, drink some coffee, you feel those, you feel the effects instantly, right? And those are things that's more, that's less subtle that you actually can tell and you can feel its effect, okay? So guys, what we have to boil down, what it boils down to is if we eat right, if we exercise, if we listen to positive music, just positive entertainment, period, we watching positive things, things that's not going to be, you know, just Neg just negative okay it's going to affect us in a positive manner it's going to affect our mind our dna in a positive manner it's going to cause our dna to respond in a positive manner in a manner that is um, realizing our potential and not degenerating us in our potential right so look at it this way let's say you're a negative person okay let's say you like to fuss you like to fight you like to argue, you like to gossip, um, you like to self-loathe, be depressed, all these things, right? Then you ask yourself, 
If you are that type of person, ask yourself, what do you watch on TV? What are you consuming in that way? What are you putting into your mind? Okay? Ask yourself, what do I eat? What are you putting into your body? And ultimately, your DNA, ultimately, your mind. Because it's going to have a chemical response that's going to affect your mind and the way that you feel and the way that you think. Your mind. Okay? Ask yourself, what type of people am I, am I around? What's that my environment? Right? Now, when you ask yourself those questions, if it's a bunch of negative stuff, right? Then ask yourself, or... Think about someone else. Say, okay, l let me think about this person that eats right. I'll put it this way. This is the thing. You're going to have a hard time putting good food in your body, right? Listening to good music, watching good things on TV or any other form of, of entertainment, media that you, that you look at. Surrounding yourself by good, healthy, positive people. You're going to have a hard time doing all those things and then just still yet being in a negative mind frame, okay? Once again, there's exceptions to everything, but you get my point, all right? And then at the same time, you're going to have a hard time being around murder, drug, violence, listening to music that's talking about murders, drugs, violence, watching TV, and all you see is murder, drug, violence, killing, griminess, um, ratchetness, right? Okay? Eating certain um, things that, that even you know are bad, but for whatever reason, you can't put it down and leave it alone, things of that nature. Then also ask yourself what type it's, it's hard to feel great, right? It's hard to be on up and up When you got all that negativity going on, right? So the thing is guys your DNA is your mind, okay? Your DNA has plenty of potential. Most of us have great potential, okay? But a lot of us we never realize it. We never maximize our potential We never reach our potential because we allow ourselves to degenerate and feed our mind Feed our DNA information that is in turn going to prompt it to um, express a lower aspect of ourselves. Hopefully this was a helpful video, guys. Peace.